Hello there and you're welcome to the Militos Auto Blog. On this channel we talk about cars, new innovation and things that have to do with you know the automotive industry. I know most of you who have been following on the channel, you've been enjoying most of the videos. So without further ado, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell button to know anytime we upload something for you to be able to get there and watch it fast. To those of you who have been liking, sharing my posts every time, the auto community is growing and we are doing better, better because of you. Let's get down into what we have for today. So just like you've seen, we are talking about new cars and the new innovations that are coming with these cars in 2024. And probably you would have been anticipating, oh, what are they going to do next? Uh, so we're going to be talking about them and stay tuned leave a comment in the comment section which one is your favorite and what you don't like about what you're going to be getting in the next one because i know probably these things you know where the new cars are coming always you know happen so first on our list is the mercedes-benz eqg now you guessed right uh mercedes-benz has always teased this off get new electric g-wagon for what why at first i thought they were joking but i mean now it has come out and then ah oh, it's real obviously it's real i don't have much to say about it because i mean the g-wagon over more than 50 years has been hand built and it's been naturally aspirated a very raw and real suv and now it's going electric what do we have to say about that so we're talking about it because mercedes-benz says the electric g-wagon is a look and a step into the future for mercedes-benz based on the fact that they've been making other electric cars and following this they decided to make the g-wagon an all-electric vehicle the good thing about this is that the g-wagon has the shape and the looks of a proper g-wagon i thought they would have like changed the shape and all of that but actually it's it looks like a g-wagon we expect to see the arrival of this g-wagon in late part of 2023 and early parts of 2024 um, and it cost about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars $150,000 would be about 105 million naira. Wow, that's that's quite a lot. I mean, for electric cars, they never get, get cheap. And because of the batteries and all of that, it takes to build with the whole technology. It's like really, really expensive. So let me know, will you rather go for the normal G-Wagon, which is like a nat naturally aspirated car? And for that, you can get the G63, which is like a performance G-Wagon with lots of power and all of that. and Definitely, you still get more power in the G-Wagon, but I mean, uh, is that really interesting? And also, we so we see that the G-Wagon, Mercedes-Benz says, will be a two-speed, we have a two-speed shiftable gearbox. Two-speed. Well, for an electric car, it you know gives the feeling of uh, a normal car, but I don't know. What do you think about that? You can leave in the comments section. And then also, it has, I call it a party trick. It's something with these electric cars these days where they get, you know, party tricks and all of that. It's got this 360 thing. You can look at what it does. Uh, it's It wowed me at first, but I mean, <laughs> the G-Wagon is electric. It's got lowered suspension, so it's a little bit lower than the normal um, naturally aspirated, you know, V8 that the G-Wagon usually gets. Has Mercedes made a good choice of going all electric? Is it too early? To me, I feel it's too early to go electric. Um, Mercedes-Benz says it's definitely quicker than the normal G-Wagon or the G63 AMG. Lower and it's we do off-roading too. It has same kind of suspension setup, only that it has four different electric motors to the different wheels individually. So definitely you might get a little bit more of enhanced um, off-roading capabilities with the electric g-wagon uh it's a bit more sport oriented being that this electric cars don't build torque over time they just go specs has not been released officially by mercedes-benz but obviously uh, they say it's going to do you know a reasonable amount of power and speed the next is the lamborghini revuelto and it's a plug-in mid-engine hybrid car from lamborghini and Lamborghini says it's obviously the um, successor to the Aventador. And I thought as much that it will not be as powerful or practical as a conventional V12. So um, Lamborghini says this is a 1,001 horsepower supercar, which is obviously going to start selling 
as soon as possible probably or maybe in the late 2023 and we'll see them probably so uh, much rampant in 2024 and being a hybrid it's is it like a very very good or practical supercar i leave you to comment that in the comment section do you like the new rev welto it's italian so you call it that obviously so it's still a v12 and probably one of the last v12 that lamborghini is ever going to produce which is sad. going to make about 1001 horsepower and three it's made it to three electric motors plus a v12 and lamborghini says in lamborghini's words the power of hybridization is harnessed to make performance and driving emotions to an unprecedented level for styling it looks okay but to me it doesn't look as good as the aventador i feel like they put a cyan and then a veneno together it looks like more like a cyan and a veneno i think you just mash it up together and you know make something obviously that's what i feel the car looks like to me but i mean uh to be a successor to the aventador does it really cut it out well i leave that to when things will come out and then we'll start seeing these cars on our roads so what do you think about the revolto do you like it do you not like it come leave that in the comment section the dodge challenger demon srt I have a problem with Dodge. Why do they always have cars that have these dark names? I mean, most people name their cars that are really fast and they feel like these things want to actually kill them, name them those kind of names. But this is a groundbreaking establishment for Dodge, being that they always give us cars that we always want to see. And for the petrol heads, those of us who like to burn rubber and all of that, the Demon 170 SRT is here. Pulling one of the craziest petrol cars ever produced, this, like I said, is actually groundbreaking. Ah, to all of you who say that electric cars are fast accelerating, wait till you hear this. This car makes a whopping 1,025 horsepower, which is probably one of the fastest accelerating production cars ever made in 2023 that's to you all electric cars <laughs> back at you it does 0 to 60 in about 1.66 seconds that's like about um one two three three more seconds faster than the tesla model s plan bonkers bonkers that's obviously one of the last calls of dodgy's v8s which is obviously sad this is one of the last V8s we're going to be seeing produced from Dodge. So leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about the Dodge Demon 170 SRT? I know it's a kick ass. So last on the list is something you didn't expect, but it's actually a supercar. So China has decided to hop on the supercar game. I probably think this is not the first supercar from a Chinese brand or China as a whole, but I, I mean, this is, a Chinese supercar that they see would want to enter the market and it has something really interesting up its sleeve. So if you've heard about the BYD, the BYD is a Chinese brand and they have produced their 2024 Yang Wang, the Yang Wang U9 EV. I don't know, <laughs> Yang Wang, Yang Wang, that's Chinese. So um first of all the car does a jump <laughs> and squats i mean a car that jumps ah uh, it jumps at a spot it's actually something i really watched a few days ago or yes i also watched it today and it was like wow the car actually does a, a, a jump and that's one of the first things i noticed there's something the electric cars these days they get to do party tricks like okay take for example the the hummer ev the electric hummer does this crab walk and like the g-wagon we already saw does the 360 turn and this one does the um jump and spot i mean is it really you know do you think these electric cars are fun or they just make it they just do this i call them party tricks to make people want to buy them that's marketing strategy because I'm not against electric cars, but I don't feel they're so practical at this point in time. We could, you know, do some other things with cars later on, but I don't feel 
Uh, that's not to say I'm a hater of electric cars, but I'm a full-on petrol head. So design-wise, I mean, the car looks very beautiful. And uh, f then again, I think it just wants to be a McLaren. Um, <laughs> sorry, but I mean, it's beautiful, but it reminds me of the McLaren, the way their headlights are. And um, I don't know what the, talks, the, the specs are. I don't know what the specs are of this car, but probably I know it might be fast knowing that it's an electric vehicle. One other thing is that they say, they say that this car can drive on three wheels. Three wheels. So <laughs> just imagine if I have to like get into a car and drive it on three wheels, or maybe if I don't have money for the third wheel, I can actually, I can actually drive with three wheels. But I mean, that shows, or maybe that's, trying to say that the car is well balanced and all of that until it comes out who never who knows it might be a very great supercar and um let's not discredit china they make one of the best cars in the world and probably this is one of, going to be one of the best and it's a knockoff for things like the hennessy um venom and the and the rimac or remac whatever you want to call it Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Please comment which was your favorite car out of this and for you to expect more from these also brands. Please, if you're looking for a car to buy, contact me or you're looking for, you know, ways to make more um, decisions, more better decisions with money when you have to get a car. You can contact me. My a link and you know phone number and everything is down you can email me and um, check out our social medias at militus underscore auto blog this is the militus auto blog hope to see you next time peace out